Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. Welcome to our dream. Dream? In a theatre, perhaps. Where you're watching the band Dream Theatre with guitar player John Petrucci. But except rather than being John's massive physical being, it's me. Yes. And instead of a theatre of music and challenging, interesting, progressive core progressives, so it's Lee's mind. Imagine John Petrucci, slightly less buff and a lot shish kebab on the guitar. <laughs> and that's kind of this bit here. Um, I like how we're whispering a bit. <laughs> Because it's a theatre of dreams. <laughs> so, yes, John Petrucci, uh, guitar player extraordinaire of uh, prog rock, a mega band, Dream Theatre. Uh, long time user of uh, Music Man guitars. And this purple monster in my hands here is the Music Man Majesty, which is his kind of latest top of the range uh, guitar from Music Man. This is a seven string, uh, also available in six strings. Got loads of innovative features to do with piazzo pickups and Demarzio humbuckers and preamp boosty things and beautiful inlaid maple, amazing <coughs> guitars. But not everybody has got three or four thousand pounds to spend on a guitar, pounds. which is unfortunate really, as we'd love it if you did all have three or four thousand pounds to spend on a guitar. But those clever people at Music Man also have a brand of guitar uh, that they make out in Indonesia called Sterling. So what a named, sterling job that is. Well, so named because Ernie Ball was the uh, the daddy who I think bought Music Man originally. Did he buy it or start it? Oh, I don't know. That's a really good question. Well, I mean... But whatever. You could, that's what Wikipedia's for. But anyway, his son and the current head honcho at Ernie Ball is Sterling Ball. And he's got sons as well, one of which called Brian. Maybe that's his only son, I can't remember, but Brian's the one I've met. But So anyway, the Sterling range is named after Sterling and it's designed to make a more affordable, proper licensed copies of Music Man guitars. So if you're a fan of any of the artist models like the uh, Petrucci or the Luke or the James Valentine or the Albert Lee or the St. Vincent, uh, but you can't afford the full fat American one, uh, you can look at the Sterling lineup and um, there should be something in there that's a little bit more friendly on the wallet. are really nicely made and then imported to Orange County, California to be set up and inspected mm. by the Americans. Yes, now we'll get into features shortly. That is something that um, I have been a little critical of in the past with, with Music Man, which is it's sort of, I can see why they take them from Indonesia and then they send them back to America and the people at Music Man can go, oh yes, that's okay, tweaky tweaky, that's beautiful, blah, blah, blah. And then they send them obviously to all their distributors around the world in yeah. the UK, wherever they are. And then they sell them to the retailers and then we sell them to you. Uh, by which time the guitar has been around the moon about four times. And I don't know, adds a little bit of extra cost on that would could be lost if the Music Man would just allow the guitars to go straight to the distributor rather than to America first. But hey. I doubt the general guitar shredding public care about that though. No, I'm sure they don't. And I suppose the one thing it does guarantee is it's a sort of a guarantee of good quality uh, and decent setup. But anyway, hey ho, back to the guitar. Sterling uh, Majesty is currently available in two or three colors, which I think you'll find on screen now, is a mahogany body. Uh-huh. Um, Set. And is the part in the centre still maple? I think. No, well, on this, on some of the majesties, the earlier majesty, it was like this graphite thing, but it's um, it's just etched rather than, it's not actually graphite decoupage. in there. It's like decoupage. Oh, it's did your up. wife do that? You Probably. Know where she gets like lampshades and sticks bits of paper well, on I'm it not and calls looking. it decoupage. <laughs> um, so it's, it's a finish on here rather than uh, an actual piece of inlaid kind of graphite, carbon graphite. Um, two humbuckers, it's non-specific on the Sterling website as to what they are. They're Demarzios on the, the full fat one. This just says humbuckers. Um, no piazzo, so we can't do the acoustic thing. Uh, but we do have 
the 12 dB boost Which circuit. Which is really cool. That's Very cool. handy. Um, did I say, yeah, kind of like a set neck, locking tuners. Uh, I always think of all the Music Man guitars, the Petrucci one is the one that conforms least, I think, to their very narrow neck. So these just feel a bit more just normal. Normal. Rob, let's hear it. So, well, I'd like to apologise to John Petrucci and also anyone that ever liked his music for the fact that I can play nothing like John Petrucci. If you want to hear what John Petrucci sounds like, Please I had the honour of interviewing him last year, um, and he is lovely, a really nice guy and monster guitar player. Um, so yes. really, just stop watching this and go and watch a John Petrucci video. Yeah, that, that, well, that will serve you much better than what I'm about to do. Uh, having said that, I'm going to tune to make things a bit easier for you. Good idea, Rob. And um, I, I did the first two times I tuned this, go one, two, and then go up here, but there's nothing. I felt like I'd fallen off the edge of a flat earth. Um, but of course, that's impossible. And... Uh, <laughs> Don't be silly, Rob. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> I can see the edge over there, look. Oh, the ice wall? Yes. It's a giant ice wall. Um, I'm going in a boogie. Of course you because are. Because Pete put me in a boogie. Wow, and that's what John a plays too. Massive boogie fan, and John plays them too. So. So yes. here's, I've got the Tube Screamer without Oof. the boost. With. Hard to hear. I'll be honest with you, but just to demonstrate that it is doing something, if I go on a clean sound and just show you sort of... Um... You can hear the boost. That is Might a have tremendous difference in volume. It. Yeah, massive, but if you've got that much gain on it, all you're really doing is just getting a little bit more saturation. Um, can't coil tap or anything like that, so just tone and volume on the uh, back. Why would you want to? Battery compartment, because that's how your, your boost works. Uh, I didn't see anywhere on the Tinter web uh, about it being an adjustable boost. Um, so I think it's just a fixed 12 dB boost, but if it is buried somewhere in the information on there, I apologize. Um, I would be interested to know what the scale length is, Lee. Uh, I will look it up for you. I know the radius is a 16 inch radius, so it's fairly flat. Well, it's not even fairly flat, I would say it's very flat. And it is 25 and a half inch scale length. Uh, wow. The neck width is 42 millimeters. It's quite a the narrow nut. neck. Do you think? Well, yeah, narrow it, thin or narrow this way? Narrow this way, yeah, because it feels like you can get to the strings <gasps> very quickly. I suspect the comment section is already full of people telling us that it's not a basswood body. Uh, it's not a basswood body. It's a mahogany body. I do apologize with but the mahogany But please leave neck. in the bit where you said it was basswood. <coughs> so no, go back and edit really and delete it. Basswood. <laughs> and it comes with a gig bag. Nice. Rosewood fingerboard. Rosewood. Rosewood. Basswood. Uh, that's cool. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm kind of, 
It's not the sort of guitar that I would normally gravitate towards in terms of visually, but I must admit, Music Man guitars are a little bit addictive, aren't they? You sort of pick them up and you start playing them and you go, they're always good. I like the way that the pickup controller feels like a gear stick. If you put your fingers on it, you can also put it very slightly left and right. Do you know what? It's supposed to be the angle, I don't know about on, no, it looks like the same. The angle is John Petrucci literally said, my arm where my elbow sits on the guitar has to literally just move like this and the switch has to be utterly ergonomically, which it is, look. Right. See that? Except the way he does it, he divides the universe. Which, to be honest with you, when the switch is up here, I suppose it's fairly ergonomic. And if it was down here, I don't know. I guess that wouldn't just, make sense to have the switch over here, would it? You should have two, one here and then one here. <laughs> Doppelsweich. Um, I was using a tremendous sounding chorus pedal on the floor here. By called who? The Julia by Walrus. <laughs> See, that's this one has Doppelschweich, like I said. Doppelschweich? Oh, yeah. Well, but that's Piazzo. Um, so, sorry, and, I didn't um, to, uh, not my mic Piazzo phone. blend and pickup changing and all that kind of stuff. I do notice that what you do get, and this probably justifies the extra £2,000, is you do get the rubber kind of surrounds on the knobs, which you don't get on the, uh, on the Sterling version. Well, but it is also rubber and knob in the same sentence. Made guaranteed to get an, ooh, in a Danish Pete. Did you call him Nine Inch Pete? Danish Pete. Did oh. I call him Nine Inch Pete? Crikey, I normally only call him that when we're alone together. <laughs> uh, it's descended into one of those. It has. Um, so it's... There you go, look, I like it. You I haven't mean... told me yet. Well, I, I, there's one thing I'd like to change on them. Please. What is that? Dear, dear Mr. Music Man. Well, um, or Mr. Petrucci, as it's a, his I think, guitar. I think it should come with some of the delicious barbecue rubs, which I had some and then I used them all. Smoky, what's month. he called? What do you call them? They're not barbecue, he calls them smoke. Pits or no? What does he call them? Smokers? Yeah. Is it called a smoker? I think so. Like it, like a, a big dustbin that you cook in rather than a traditional barbecue. No, no. He, they they make um, a seasoning that you'd you'd put on oh, meat and marinate. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, it's it's Sterling Ball's big thing. No, no, I know he is. Is is like into Sterling. his a barbecue, isn't Here's it? The funny but they're not thing. called barbecues. Obviously, we've not properly met. I had some of your rub and it was really good, but because I don't really eat of the meat all the time, I put it on <laughs> tofu. Sorry. I put it on tofu. It was great on the tofu, man. He doesn't eat meat all the he time. He doesn't. Um, what I wanted to change about this guitar was I'd love it if they if they'd sink these parts into the bodywood. Yeah, but John said to me, so it changes the tone. Totally changed the tone, and so he, he said. prefers the tone of a risen backplate. Right. You're kidding me. I am kidding you. Right, OK. Um, I'm desperately trying to get this tremolo arm well, out of this packet. you're never going to do it, Lee. Crikey, this is like the hardest piece of plastic known to man. While you're doing that, might I play the purple? I wonder it's killing so many turtles when we throw these in the sea. Well, I tell you what then. Um, sorry, I don't know. You've probably not seen the last couple of minutes of this video. Look at this for a tool that's come with it. This is comes with it, and I've never seen this. But this it comes is a tool. with every guitar that ever comes with that particular. It truss does not, in, including Chapman's guitars. Do we be, get? Do you get those with them? Be, yes. I've never seen that happen before. So there's a little thing for adjusting the. Um, I remember the first wheel. time I owned a guitar company. Uh, on the truss rod. <laughs> uh, well, look, uh, and I put the tremolo arm in because it is a it is a proper Sterling by Music Man trem system. Right. So we'll jam out. I'll play the Sterling uh, sticker. Comes off. It's not ingrained, painted on. Don't worry about that. Rob couldn't resist it and is going full fat. Uh, the John review Petrucci isn't about Majesty. this, but I just. I think we've reviewed these before. Yeah. I think.
also, it is possible, see? Yeah! Ah! 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 Honestly, that was some of your nicest playing, and bits of it sounded like um, like Tears of the Sahara. Um, Tears of the Sahara? Who's yeah, that by? Um, oh, it's very kind of you to say it's so. It's going to kill me that I can't remember the name of the artist. He's an amazing uh, guitar player. Anyway, that was really thank nice. Thank you very much. I enjoyed that. Well, good, thank you. Maybe Music Man is the hand crack you need. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Or maybe I just need more chorus. I haven't not used chorus much. Um, Kind of went off it. Now I'm back. And what into was it. the game pedal you were using? Plimsoll. Yeah, the good old Plimsoll. The good old Plimsoll, which everybody said didn't sound very good when we did the blindfold amp challenge. But I kind of, and I, you know, at the end of the day, people said it didn't not, sound good. Yeah, I. Well, would, what do they know? Well, you know, not every pedal. It's like, um, you know, what you wouldn't put custard on spaghetti bolognese. Well, you know, but you'd put custard on jam roly poly. You would put custard on a jam roly poly. You know, I guarantee most of the Americans watching this won't know what. To <laughs> yeah. won't know what and they just put pie custard is. on everything. Do you remember they? toenail pie? No, toenail pie. You didn't used to have that. No, it was like a sponge with raspberry jam, and then it was like mm. coconut on top. Ah, oh, what the coconut was the toenails. Yeah, yeah, toenail mm. pie. Spotted, Spotted dick. Spotted dick, but that's yeah. a British institution. Prunes isn't it? and custard. Yeah. I, I, I must admit, I, I like to keep my sweet things sweet, my savoury things savoury. I've never been, you know, when you go to America and they have maple syrup all over their bacon and eggs, it's like, not for me. Oh, mate, I'm all about that. No, no, I'm no, all no. about gluten-free pizza, no cheese, with anchovies and pineapple. <laughs> I like it. Well, that's I'm a, sorry. That a rank I'm mixture sorry. of I like pineapple on a pizza. fish and fruit. I know it's wrong. No, I like pineapple. Yeah, but I don't have pineapple and anchovy together. I don't know if I do Try that. it. Panchovy. You might like it's it. It's the future of pizza. Uh, I've been Why Chandler. does it have to be gluten free though? Because I'm gluten intolerant. Oh yeah, but it's, so that's not a taste thing, is oh, it? Oh no, this is just what I order. Fine. I go, I'm going to order a pizza, it's going to take me half an hour. Can I have a pizza, but remove the base and remove the cheese? Yes. And then add anchovies and pineapple. Can I have a flat white soya um, double Skinny. espresso pizza with anchovies, but gluten free, celiac, uh, wheat intolerant. That would be my entire life in a meal. Edit. Re uh, <laughs> right, bye. <laughs> See you later. Hand crack. Ah! Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.